What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and uh, this is going to be the second video of today and it's gonna be another negative video because as it seems a lot of negative things are going on in Marvel Strike Force and we need to talk about this. So we have this mirror image event going on right now to unlock Echo a character that I reviewed a few days ago and uh, this character is garbage 100% garbage maybe it's going to be good on Alliance Wars defense for the 0.01% of people that uh, care about it care about Alliance Wars defensive teams and uh, beyond that this character is decent in bleeds but it's a character that uh, costed $50 and uh, that you are barely going to get any experience out of it because you have nowhere where to use it. Now that's fine, you can play Blitz on manual if you want and use this character as much as possible, but uh, for a $50 character it seems like the price tag is very very high. On top of that, we have this event going on right now, the mirror image event, that it's going to be the way you can unlock this character as a free-to-play player. This event features a bunch of milestones, 40 milestones, where you can get 150 shards for Echo, which will guarantee you a 3 star and a half and a bunch of orange gear, teal gear, and ions and isoweight, which is fine. Now, the big problem I have with this event is not the character, it's not the, the amount of shards. Many people are making a problem about the amount of shards that you are getting less than 40 hour stars. I can understand that. Since the Silver Surfer, now the new characters, they are much more powerful on low yellow stars and some of them you can even use on end game, like I was able to use Star Lord T'Challa on Doom 2.3, like I did the, the Scarlet Spider and the Spider Punk on 2.3 as well, so all of these characters are possible to use on the end game even at low yellow stars and for me that's fine i can understand so whenever you go from so first whenever you unlock the character the character is playable so you don't get, you don't need to get five and six yellow stars for the character to be playable that's a good thing then it makes the legendaries in case this character unlocks it it makes the legendaries more uh, are to obtain because it's not going to be as easy for many players to obtain the characters that's fine as well make the legendaries more exclusive as long as you make them better like make more legendaries like omega red and less legendaries like uh, invisible woman for example for me that's all fine the less amount of shards the more higher stats on the characters at lower level stars so whenever you decide to buy an offer for the character you have a good experience right away not force you to buy multiple offers to have a good experience for me all of that it's fine what is not fine is this event this event is trash and the reason why it's trash it's because it's not free to play available people say free to play friendly no we need to use the correct terms we need to talk about free to play availability is this event free to play available can you complete this event as a free to play player by using your effort during 15 days in order to unlock every single milestone? No, it's not possible, it's not the case. Even if you are lucky and you can, you can finish number one on the arena every single day, you don't get enough cores to get energy 
to use on this event in order to unlock all the milestones so it's 100 impossible for you to complete this event during 15 days through free to play methods and this is something that we need to criticize this is something that we cannot accept and this must stop because without a free to play players this game will die even even if the free to play players do not spend any money on this game they are still part of the community they are still part of the group of players that make the whales to be more competitive because if a whale buys an offer and a free to play player unlocks the character and they are at the same level they are going to compete with each other and on this position the whale can buy his way through and become stronger in terms of competitiveness competitiveness and this is something that we need we need this competitiveness for the whales to spend more money and maybe maybe even turn some free-to-play players into spending players many people on my arena shard they use it to be free to play and now i see that all of them have seven yellow stars seven red stars ikaris so they broke their free-to-play virginity in order to be more competitive and uh, if uh, your audience your audience is as bigger as possible it's more likely that this will happen it's more likely that with increase of competitive competitiveness that more free-to-play players will turn into customers but this seems that this company cannot understand and they make this event behind a paywall that uh, is not affordable for many many people you have to spend 200 300 400 maybe dollars on this specific event in order to unlock all the milestones and you are not even getting enough uh, resources to justify that we are getting nine of each mini unique if it was 18 18 maybe i would say okay maybe it's worth 200 dollars for some crazy people not for me but for may maybe for some crazy people getting 18 of each mini unique which allows you to equip one new item on your characters okay so maybe that's worth it it's not the case you are getting half of one mini unique which each character requires multiple of them and you need five characters so you need at least uh, what 100 of these to gear up all your characters so you are getting less than 10 percent of what you need to gear up your characters and then you are getting this orange gear from two years ago we are getting this orange gear from last year is this where the the money is worth it we don't need this we can farm these i appreciate this this is something that uh, you should uh, already implement more in the game so we can farm it we should not be stuck on bottlenecks from two years ago it's just crazy then we have all this iso weight and whatever that's fine like no one needs iso weight these days we have plenty of green ions and blue ions and whatever it's impossible to justify all of these is this the t4s is the price to justify these t4s i have thousands of t4s that i have nowhere to use so where where is the justification for this price point on this event no event should be free to play unavailable all events should be free to play available make me spend all my time in the game it doesn't matter but the events need to be free to play available and especially in many countries like belgium for example in belgium these type of things cannot happen it's against the law people from belgium can complain against the authorities for this game because you have loot boxes behind the paywall and you cannot have all of these it's not good all events should be free to play available and it's not the case then we have this ranking reward which is terrible i'm not a commie i'm not a communist 
For me, I can understand that some people will be rich, other people will be poor, and we have some people in the middle. But this event just makes the whales even bigger. And uh, the people who are not whales, they will get smaller and smaller because getting 50 gold orbs from this event, it's crazy. 50 gold orbs, really? What are you thinking on? It's just huge, the, the advantage that you get from all these gold orbs. Just for the top 5. But the, the top 100 get tons and tons of gold orbs. That is a huge advantage in terms of resources for this game. It's just crazy. Look, top, one per, uh, top 50%, top 40% is getting trash. This is not what you should do. You should increase the rewards here. So the free to play players or the players that don't uh, take the game too serious yet. So they can be happy about it and uh, feel that they can become more competitive because they have more resources to invest on the characters. The gap is just huge. The, the last players, the last 50% get 50,000 gold and the, the top five uh, players get 50 gold orbs is just crazy it, it, it's I, I really cannot understand these okay so with all this in mind with the fact that uh, this event this leaderboard clearly wants to make the whales even stronger not just they are getting elite six we are getting they are getting a bunch of uh, gold promotion credits and 50 gold orbs is just crazy 50 gold orbs is just something that uh, i cannot uh, understand then we have these milestones that we cannot complete as a free-to-play player no matter what you do and uh, like in the in the past last week when i talked about this event i thought okay so we have the bleeds for star lord t'challa we are not getting any currency because he's the new character so that's fine then we have the weekend blitzes okay we are not getting any currency because uh, it's the weekend blitz for sure on the mumbaku blitz which is a trash character that has no use in the game apart from the uh, chaos theory I'm sure that they will give us currency so you can achieve these milestones. It's not the case. We cannot get any additional currency from the Bleeds. So again, the event is 100% unachievable as a free-to-play player. Plus, on this store, you cannot obtain shards for this character that you are not even going to use. It's completely ridiculous. And even the items that you can buy are not that interesting. As you can see, I'm buying this basic gear because there are no mini uniques. There are no uniques. There are no character shards, even that this character is trash. What's, what's the reasoning behind this? Why are you locking this character? It's not an amazing character. It's a trash character. And it's a trash event. Make the events free to play available if not then we are gonna have a problem and uh, with this said i'm gonna make a promise here these two next characters the next character i think on friday or whatever kate bishop is going to be released i'm not gonna buy her offer dr dudu is coming after i'm not gonna buy his offer uh, his offer morbius maybe but we'll have to wait and see. I'm declaring that I'm going to boycott MSF for at least the next two characters, probably the next three characters. If we don't see any changes on this event, if the next events will not be free to play achievable, free to play available, I'm gonna keep boycotting this game because it's unacceptable and uh, you should tell your favorite content creators to do exactly the same, boycott all these characters. The characters are trash anyway, so who cares? I'm going to unlock them with cores and that's it. I'm not gonna give more money to this game until all events are free to play available. Like I said, it's not about me, it's about uh, the community we need the free to play players to make the whales more competitive otherwise why are the whales even going to care 
why how are we going to turn some of the free-to-play players into co customers when there is no point on doing so there is no reasoning behind it and uh, these goals the these milestones locked behind paywalls of 200 300 and 400 dollars are just crazy in my country that's more than 50 percent of the minimum wage in many countries in europe portugal spain maybe even france italy the eastern countries like poland hungary latvia lithuania estonia russia many of these countries cannot afford these price points of for milestones of an event it's just ridiculous it's just beyond ridiculous let's talk about brazil peru argentina can all of them afford this colombia for sure there are some marvel strike force players in those countries in mexico the people from mexico don't matter for marvel strike force people from africa you think people in africa can afford this or those players don't matter people from uh, asia india maybe china can everyone afford these milestones behind the 200 300 400 dollar paywalls who is this for you are not uh, making more money out of this this is ridiculous and it, it's uh, ruining the the game and ruining the community so as a content creator and i'm not an envoy the envoys have way more responsibility than i do either way i'm going to boycott marvel strife force i'm not going to buy any of these offers i will unlock the characters with cores because i can do that easily because i get a, a nice amount of cores from the arena but uh, i'm done i'm done spending game on this game until they change something about it it's not good the characters are trash the events are trash the events are not free to play available and uh, i cannot accept that uh, as part of this community so once again i suggest you to tell your favorite content creator to boycott marvel strike force to don't buy any offers for the newest characters you don't need to change your name in game that's just uh, to to show off uh, actually do the actions don't buy the characters let them sit last time it was cyclops people were going to boycott cyclops or whatever no one did it either way i can understand because it's cyclops but now we have two trash characters plus morbius that is a questionable character we don't need these we have a weapon x we have infinity watch we don't need this trash so tell them to boycott and you do the same no one is buying any offers for the next two or three weeks and you'll see on that on next match if something changes or not if things change if all events going forward become free to play available okay i will start supporting the game once again and we'll be on a good note if not we are going back to boycotting this and we'll see where this goes so yeah guys that's going to be the video i hope you guys enjoy it as much as possible it has to be said it's not acceptable we need all events need to be free to play available make us blitz 10 hours per, per day plus raids plus dark dimension and whatever force us to do all of that i don't care but the, the, the events need to be free to play available and this event is not and there is no justification the rewards are just not good enough the rewards and the character the character is trash echo is one of the worst characters that have been released in the past six months it's not there is no reason why this event should be behind a paywall so yeah i'm sorry for taking the so long to get my point across but i think it's important and uh, this needs to stop and we need to make noise and we need to take action i try to change my review on the app store i cannot change my review anymore they're asking me to make a new review but now they block so you cannot change your review anymore and uh, with that in mind then we have to do the next step if you can change the the rates on the apples on the apple store and the play store 
we go to the next step and we boycott the game and that's pretty much it so yeah guys that's going to be the video i hope you guys enjoy it if you did like always make sure to smash the like button tell me in the comments below what you think about all of this are you going to boycott the game as well or are you going to fall for the bait of morbius let me know in the comments below and if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more marvel strike force content and i will catch you guys later